Hello and welcome back. It's another episode of Hatch to Devour. It's been a little bit. Not too many changes to go over from last time. Things are working out pretty good. Happy to be back to this series free to play. As always, if you enjoy the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, but let's get into it. We got the a lot of basic lands still. Could redeem for couple lands I think but I still like keeping high number basics with ranging raptors the package classic bros marauding hunt master drover rip jaw shifting doing good work going fast incubation and commune again still fantastic pairing I'm happy I brought uh, incubation in it's doing good work all the time try it out again if you haven't, I mean, it's uncommon. Might as well. Raging Sword Tooth, Helping out a little bit. Coming up here. Um, he's just in sort of as a placeholder, but still pretty decent. 5-5 five, five, Trample. Pinging everything, especially since we got Ripjaw and Ranging. But other than that, sideboard, pretty standard. We got Interaction. Savage Stomp, Reckless Rage. Graveyard stuff rampaging so we cover quite a few bases especially with shifting in the main board other than that let's uh let's get into it Ooh, okay well that's not gonna do it for us one land kind of rough that's a little bit better temple of abandon turn one hopefully we get to two but it's a little rough a little rough we got plenty of creatures, so feels all right sending incubation to the bottom. Thoughtseize. Ooh. Ooh. That's going to hurt. But having multiple plays and then uh, getting shifting there, another one should be good. You probably have some stuff to deal with, uh, three converted mana cost creatures or less. Hope for ranging raptors next turn or shifting. We'll see. All right, Mardu something. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Ooh. All right, this will be good. I expect one marauding to get killed at some point. So let's just get two lands off ranging raptors. Get us ahead nicely. I could see them blocking with the Adanto Vanguard and then paying for life so it gets indestructible. That's all right. But hey, we got six damage through. Death Shadow, not really that big. Not too much of a problem. I'm happy to block with Marauding. It's actually part of the plan anyways. And we got four more damage on Adanto, so can't complain. Hmm. I think we're looking pretty good. I mean, unfortunately, they did get starved with lands, not having a whole lot to play, but that's how it goes. Good old Ripjaw. Hmm. Well, let's just try and bust through them. If Adanto blocks one of the shifting, that's going to be all right, because we can just give it trample. It's 
All righty. Someone forgot about shifting ceratops. It's pretty good. Kind of like questing beast. One of those things you just maybe forget about. All good. Hmm. Not a whole lot of graveyard stuff. Rampaging. Raging Swordtooth could be pretty good against a Danto just to maybe force them to have a die or pay for a life, so I think that'd be all right. We'll see how it goes. See how the next one goes. If if we need to, we'll bring in that interaction for game three. If we don't win this one, but Mm -hmm. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Not not going to do it for us. Not even a two-drop. If there is a two-drop, possibly. Might have kept it, but there we go. That's what we're looking for. Could go incubation, but... Yeah, you know what? Let's go... Go incubation, see if we can get that marauding raptor. Ooh. Go hunt master. Get two, two drops just because I feel they could rip one of them from her hand. They got a lot of that discard, so they're probably looking to get rid of something. Hmm. Hopefully Drover survives, and then next turn we go Huntmaster and Ranging Raptors. That'd be pretty decent. That's what I'm looking to do, but hey, that's how it goes. Take three. All right, getting closer to that Regisaur Alpha. That's going to be nice. Ranging Raptors, fantastic blocker. It's going to be good. I am okay blocking that. Pretty decent trade. Pretty decent, I'd say. Ooh. All right, death sh Ooh, two death shadows. Okay, so a little bit of interaction. Game three could be nice, but it's looking pretty good for us. Pretty good position. We'll see how death shadow blocks with these guys. Apply some pretty good pressure on them and uh, bring them low. Ooh, okay. Well, Test Shadow. That's where it's at. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just keep it as is still. Go fast. Go as fast as we can. That's unfortunate, though. That, uh... It's pretty nice, actually. Adanto and Death Shadow getting them low, getting them big. But we'll make it happen, this one. Raging Swordtooth, good stuff. That's gonna put some pressure on Adanto. Help us get big.
two mulligans. It's looking good. It's looking good. Hopefully no thoughtsies, but there it is. There it is. Come on, discard Drover. You know you wanna. You did it before. All right, perfect. Pretty interesting, because I think marauding is definitely more key. Good old Adanto. Again. Um... Yeah, just go Highlands, get a fourth land for the turn, go Raging Swordtooth next turn. Put some pressure on that Vanguard. All right, we'll see if they play some Death Shadows this turn. It's going to be rough, but we can get Raging Swordtooth uh, next turn. That's going to be pretty good. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Now we'll see what they do. They go four? I mean, it's going to be rough. Ooh, is that game? I think it might be. Oh, seal away. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hmm. Alrighty, there we go. Putting on the pressure. Raging Swordtooth applying some pressure to Danto Vanguard and getting through those in Death Shadow. Ooh, what a way. What a way to start the morning. Free to play, as always. <laughs> 